Right, and only here on NBC Charlotte, a man robbed of $20,000 after a trip to his local bank. Yeah, he believes the thieves followed him more than 10 miles to get their hands on the money. NBC Charlotte's Rachel Brown following the story, and Rachel, no arrests have been made yet. No, Sarah, no arrests yet. Deputies with York County Sheriff's Department are still looking for at least two men who broke into that man's truck. Meanwhile, that man tells me he's frustrated with his bank because he doesn't think they're doing everything they can to get his money back. The thieves drive right up to my uh, driver's side of my, of my truck, shattered my back uh, driver's side door, reach in, grab the money, and they're gone. Gone in less than 10 seconds. Jonas Ferris believes these criminals knew exactly where to look, and he walks me through what happened Friday, July 7th. I had just gotten paid. He just sold some property worth more than $20,000 and came here to the Lake Wiley Wells Fargo branch to cash his check. Jonas estimates around seven people inside the bank at that hour and says the money counting machine was positioned at the bank's entrance. So anybody and everybody could see. He takes his cash and leaves. I put the money in the back seat of my truck. On his way back home. I made one stop. A call from his wife to pick up some food. Seven to ten miles away. To Ben's country store. Was in there no more than five or six minutes. My back window of my truck was shattered and all the money was taken. That robbery seen here on surveillance video from the store. Jonas believes the men who robbed him were inside the bank when he cashed his check. It's why he's frustrated Wells Fargo hasn't released any of its surveillance video to police. At least let the police see it. Wells Fargo releasing this statement to NBC Charlotte saying it is working closely with investigators to provide information in a timely and effective manner. Jonas says your county deputies told him making that stop likely saved his life. If I'd have came home and probably gotten out of my vehicle, he told me I, I could have been shot here in my front yard. And he's thankful the little faces that matter most are safe and sound. The thieves, they got they got $20,000, but they didn't get the important things. They didn't get my family. They didn't get me. And that's, that's a lot to be thankful for. And I spoke with a representative of Wells Fargo by phone. He tells me it often takes 10 to 14 days to release the video because surveillance video is not stored at each branch, and they also have to make sure they are protecting the privacy of their customers. That's the latest in West Charlotte. Rachel Brown, back to you.